Okay. Hi guys, me and I'm here at Tresham College. I've just gone through the tool bag review slash tools. Uh, so now I'm going to open up my bag for my tester. Adam, I'll let you do the honors. See this how is difficult really it is. <laughs> oh, oh no, that's the easy one. Um, so it's the same to go bag for um, the Vera stuff. I've just got this because we had the old Conky Metal toolbox bag, which was crammed everything in, everything was just messy and tidy. So I wanted to sort of put my own testing equipment together. So we've got my old Mega, which is the uh, MFT 1502 slash um, two. I gave it a wet wipe so all of you lot know it's nice and clean. Then you've got your bag with a few, so you've got your socket tester. It's basic test equipment really. You know, your crocodile clips, your leads. And then I also bought a while ago which was the Q-Tech testing lead. So, you know, if you are one R2 testing, you just crimp them onto the different leads. So they are extremely handy, to be fair, because before I had an old, I stripped one of these off and had a one that you just wire straight into your earth bar and then crocodile clip onto your live. So they're quite handy. Um, put that out of the way. On here, we've got two uni lights that I sort of use for fuse boards. So they've both got magnetic bottoms to them. So we just sort of clip them on the lid, stick them on the side, bit of light, especially when you're turning power off and you're testing. And then you've got the beast, go on. Go on, oh. there we go. Uh, so that's more mainly just for floodlights, obviously for working in a big room, doing spotlights especially. That comes in very handy. Uh, on the front, we've got just an extra compartment. So we've got a um, voltage tester. Proving unit is actually somewhere else, as so is my locking off kit. So that's not, that should be Velcro to the side of here. Uh, plug top tester, mainly just for finding out what sockets are on, what circuit, that sort of thing. So as we're testing, a uh, couple of labels. There's a few more labels to go in here, but we need to restock. So mainly for fuse board changes or EICRs, the stuff that the usual stickers that need to go on. And then on the side, we've got the uh, what? Well, the screwdriver set. So insulated screwdriver set with a pair of cutters as well. So you've got your normal fuse board. Um, what do we call them, really? Where is it? Where is it? Plus minus? No, the, 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 the breaker one. You know, the, where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. So for MCBs, you know, obviously the, the, the terminal, I can't remember the name of the terminal that goes in it, um, for that. But it doesn't, I need to get myself a torque screwdriver set for that Velcro on the side of here. I've got one. Um, it's currently in the van, but yeah, so this can sort of stay here as a testing and inspection bag solely itself. So when we're doing ICRs or testing off the board or anything like that, this would just come in neat and tidy together. A few more things that we can start clipping onto the side of it, but um, yeah, it's pretty much it for that. It's a lot nicer and a lot more useful to have a bigger bag to put more stuff in it instead of cramming it all in. And then obviously this will come out with me at night time when we get home so it doesn't get stolen out of the van. Yeah.